There are 54 days left or 37 workdays until World IPv6 Day is scheduled to take place on June 8th. A list is available online from the Internet Society of all the websites participating that will enable their content over IPv6. As it's designed, World IPv6 Day is intended to measure brokenness from content sites which will help identify misconfigured IPv4 networks. In other words, the only major change that should happen on that day is that for 24 hours there should be a Quad A record present in DNS. For access providers and network operators, June 8th isn't necessarily the time to be enabling IPv6 for users. Deciding to enable content and access over IPv6 on the same day might make it difficult to get accurate and definitive measurements for what works and what's broken. Hurricane Electric's Martin Levy puts it this way, Service providers have a fundamentally different set of issues when it comes to v6, and as such, a different role on World IPv6 Day, one that is much larger than a 24-hour window, in fact one that should last forever. The organizations behind World IPv6 Day welcome the incoming wave of enthusiasm for v6. There's no intent to discourage you from enabling enterprise sites with native dual-stack connectivity. However, enabling v6 for access in your network for World IPv6 Day would be best completed in the weeks prior, if and only if you as a provider or enterprise network are ready to support production quality IPv6 access. If you're a network operator, the most effective thing you can do on June 8th is to handle support for your users. If possible, keep track of the type of impact World IPv6 Day has on your v4 only customers. In many ways, June 8th is a flag day for organizations, an impetus for transitioning to IPv6. Hopefully this means inclusive, healthy, and long-range commitments to v6 enablement. Whatever your plans, focus on deploying only those reliable mechanisms which, should you encounter no major issues or problems, you'd feel comfortable leaving enabled long after June 8th.